Hello friend, Nathan here, and this is the Jammy Guitar. The Jammy is essentially a completely digital guitar. It's a stringed MIDI controller that can connect to your phone or computer via Bluetooth and is compatible with all major DAWs. It has onboard electric and acoustic guitar sounds, so you can plug it into an amp and play it like a guitar, or you can simply plug headphones directly into it and play. No amp, phone, or computer required. It's also very compact and disassembles easily so you can fit it in a backpack and make music while you travel. Now, Jamie reached out to me about doing this review and as a classical guitarist, I wasn't really sure if it would be a good fit, but I was so intrigued by this thing and I wanted to get my hands on it and try it for myself. So before we dive in though, I wanna lead off with this disclaimer. Jamie did send this to me for free, but they aren't paying me, so you can trust that everything I say in this video is my own honest opinion and experience with this instrument. We're gonna cover what I feel like are the three main uses for this instrument. Music production, practice, and music notation. But first, here's my 10 second fretboard freedom pitch. I made something for you, and it's free. It's called Fretboard Freedom, and it teaches you how to find and play chords anywhere across the fretboard, and you need it. Link in the description. So, music production is where this thing really shines. Let's jump into GarageBand. I'll show you what I mean, and we'll have some fun with it. Now, I just have the default GarageBand sound library and haven't paid for any decent samples. So some of those instruments sounded kind of cheesy, but you get the idea because the Jammy is a MIDI controller, you can connect it to any major DAW like GarageBand or Pro Tools and use it to play any virtual instrument. So because MIDI controllers are often keyboards, I could see this being a really useful tool for music producers whose main instrument is the guitar and who feel more comfortable exploring the fretboard rather than trying to plink around on a piano keyboard. I definitely felt this when I was playing around in GarageBand. I found this string ensemble sound and I got distracted messing around, improvising, playing triads all across the fretboard, uh, which I teach in Fretboard Freedom. You should check it out. Again, link in the description. Um, but it sounded awesome and I could just get lost in it because I was in my element. I would have never felt comfortable improvising like that on a piano keyboard. So again, I think this is the Jammy's strongest and best use but it wasn't without its flaws. And this is something that we'll get into more when we talk about practicing with the Jammy guitar. Uh, but there were times where the sensors on the Jammy just weren't reliable, uh, where the note that I was trying to play just wouldn't play or the wrong note would play. So that definitely got frustrating a few times, but it is something that they are actively improving which we'll also get into. But let's move on to practicing with the Jammy, using the Jammy guitar as a guitar. Now as a company, Jammy's very clear about the fact that their instrument is not supposed to compete with or replace a regular guitar, but rather that it's a supplemental tool. So for the sake of practice, it's never going to match up to a regular guitar but it's not supposed to. It's an option if you're traveling, for example, and you need something portable, something quiet 
that you can just plug your headphones into uh, and something that feels like a guitar in the sense that it has strings and a fretboard and something that sounds enough like a guitar to get the job done for the sake of practice. I buy all that, that sounds fair, but my question was, is it reliable enough to function as a legitimate practice tool? And I gotta be honest, when I first booted it up, I was disappointed. Almost half of the notes that I played or tried to play wouldn't play at all. And some strings were randomly louder than others. It was all over the place. I've watched other videos of people playing the jammy and they didn't seem to be having as many of those issues. So maybe I was doing something wrong. <laughs> I don't know, but that was my personal experience. However, they were very quick to jump on a video call with me and try to get everything sorted out. They gave me access to a new firmware update uh, that drastically improved things and fixed a lot of those issues, but it's still not perfect. Every now and then notes are definitely still missed. It is clear though that they're committed to continually improve on this with ongoing firmware updates. And hopefully in a future update, they'll also improve on techniques like hammer-ons and pull-offs, slides, bends, vibrato. The jammy tries to do a lot of those things, but more often than not, those techniques just don't work the way that you would expect them to on a real guitar. A couple last things to be aware of here too. To accommodate its more compact size, the jammy does only have 15 frets, which isn't gonna be a problem for most guitarists, but especially for classical guitarists, for example, we have to travel beyond those 15 frets in many cases. Uh, also, for my classical guitarists, this has steel strings. So if you're used to nylon, just be aware, this is gonna feel a little different. So I think it's safe to say, in its current state, the jammy guitar functions better as a practice tool if you're just playing simple chords and basic melodies rather than complex classical guitar or fingerstyle pieces. And you have to remember that they're not trying to compete with a real guitar, so you have to adjust your expectations accordingly if you decide to pick one of these up. I will give bonus points to the Jammy app though. There's definitely some cool functionality there, like you can change the Jammy guitar to any tuning with the tap of your finger, which makes exploring alternate tunings way more convenient. So that could be a game changer for those of you who like to arrange or compose pieces in various tunings, but don't have multiple guitars or just don't wanna take the time to tune and retune your guitars. It also has a built-in metronome. You guys know that I swear by the metronome when it comes to practice. So the more accessible that is, the better. All right, so the final use for the Jammy guitar that I was actually really excited to explore because of its potential applications in the arranging or composing process, integration with music notation software. I use Guitar Pro to notate every single one of my arrangements. I love the software. It's one of my most used tools and I can't recommend it enough. So if you haven't checked it out for yourself, you can always sign up for a free trial. I've included a link to their site down below in the description. It is an affiliate link. So if you do decide to buy Guitar Pro, you don't pay any extra, but I get a little cut that helps support the channel. Now, I was curious to see, because the Jammy guitar is a MIDI controller, can you connect it to Guitar Pro and will Guitar Pro notate what you're playing in real time? This could be really helpful for arrangers who aren't really comfortable or familiar with the notation process, but still want to notate their arrangements uh, for themselves or for others to be able to play in the future or for composers who want to just quickly notate an idea that they're working on with minimal effort. I was pleasantly surprised to find out that this does work. You can connect the Jammy to Guitar Pro and Guitar Pro will notate in standard notation and tabs what you're playing in real time. Now, this does come along with some of those same shortcomings that we talked about before with the Jammy, where there were times when I would play a note and it wouldn't register or sometimes extra notes registered that I didn't play. But the most disappointing limitation that I ran into was that it doesn't recognize the rhythms that you're playing. So it automatically assigns each note that you play the same rhythmic value. And if you wanna change that to indicate a different rhythm, you have to go in and manually change the values in Guitar Pro. But this isn't a 
issue with the jammy guitar, this is a limitation of the Guitar Pro software. And as cool as it would be for it to notate the rhythm, I get it, I'm sure that would be a nightmare to program. And as guitarists with our notoriously bad rhythm, the software would probably pick up a different rhythm than we intended most of the time anyway. So to summarize this, it's a potentially useful, but certainly not perfect notation tool. It is really cool to see your notes popping up on the page as you play them though. And I can see this being useful for somebody who really needs help getting started with notation and getting their ideas on the page, who maybe isn't too concerned with rhythm or at least doesn't mind going back in after the fact and changing or correcting the rhythm. Now, what is all this gonna cost you? At the time of recording this video, this model of the Jammy guitar sits at 499 US dollars, although it looks like they're currently running a sale for 479. All the functionality that it promises could potentially justify that price point, but in my personal experience, until they sort out some of the reliability issues, I think that's a little steep. But on that note, if you are intrigued by all this and you wanna pick one up for yourself, Jammy was kind enough to let me give you guys a discount. So if you use code beyond the guitar 50 at checkout at playjammy.com, that'll give you $50 off your order. So I've linked to their site down below in the description. Again, full disclosure, if you use this code, that does earn me a commission that helps support the channel. So my verdict on the Jammy guitar, it promises a lot of things and it delivers some of those things well. I think it can be a useful tool, especially for music producers who feel more comfortable with a guitar in their hands and for arrangers or composers who are really unfamiliar with the music notation process and need some help getting started on that front. And it can be a useful portable practice option um, but I think that is its weakest point unless you're playing really simple stuff. In all these areas though, you have to be prepared for some of those reliability issues. But again, like I said before, they have improved on that a lot with firmware updates. So if they can continue to dial that in with future updates so that you can always be confident that it'll play the notes you want when you want them, this could be a real game changer for some people. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button to let me know and to help more people see it and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what do you think of the jammy? What would you like me to review next? And don't forget to take my free training, Fretboard Freedom, where I teach you how to find and play chords anywhere on the fretboard. Again, link in the description for that. And make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on so you never miss future videos. And here's to making the music you love and making it on your own terms. All right, I'll see you in the next one.